Three weeks transformed my health and my kitchen. My shift to a plant-based diet was less about giving up and more about gaining. Gaining health, flavors, and more joy in cooking. In three weeks, my husband and I turned our diet and our lives around without looking back. In this video, I'll share what motivated me to switch to a plant-based diet, our three-week transition plan, and useful tips that have helped us maintain this new way of eating for almost two years now. Let's dive in into how we made one of the best decisions of our lives and how you might too. In 2022, while visiting our family in the Philippines, my husband and I caught COVID-19. He bounced back quickly, but I struggled. After three weeks of lingering cough and flu-like symptoms, I grew worried. I have a history of thyroid cancer that had spread to my lungs and lymph nodes at 18. I searched Google Scholar and PubMed for reliable information. There, I found two compelling studies showing how people on plant-based diets had much lower odds of moderate to severe COVID-19. That convinced me to immerse myself in learning about plant-based nutrition. Then, I decided to make the switch. At first, I thought my husband wouldn't like it. In fact, I was ready to do it alone. But to my surprise, my husband decided to join me. The real turning point came during a routine checkup. Six months into our plant-based journey, my cancer biomarkers had decreased by 70% and my white blood cells were back to normal levels. We did more tests months later, which confirmed the positive trend and my specialist finally declared my cancer cured. For more details about my story, I made a video about that up here. Our transition to a plant-based diet unfolded over three weeks, each with its own focus and milestones. Week one, plan and prepare. After deciding to embrace a plant-based lifestyle, the first step was to plan. We sat down and made a list of plant-based dishes and ingredients that we already enjoyed. Our focus shifted towards vegetables, fruits, tofu, beans, and mushrooms. We didn't want to waste food, so we used up the meat and chicken we had left before fully transitioning. This preparation phase involved more than just meal planning. I used guides by Forks Over Knives and the Center for Nutrition Studies to understand the nutritional aspects and ensure we wouldn't miss essential nutrients. This groundwork was crucial. It helped us approach this change with confidence and a solid plan making the transition smoother. Here's what you can do. Research. Use reputable sources like Forks Over Knives and Center for Nutrition Studies to understand the health benefits and nutritional needs of a plant-based diet. I also recommend listening to podcasts by Simon Hill on your free time where he interviews domain-specific experts on health and nutrition. I'll put their links in the description below. Next, create a list of plant-based foods you already enjoy. It's easier than doing a total overhaul. If you have leftover meat, use it up while gradually increasing plant-based meals to avoid waste and ease into the new diet. Some people can go and do this cold turkey. Good for them. But for most people, the key is to take it one step at a time. My husband and I didn't rush to empty our fridge overnight or force ourselves to adopt new habits instantly. Instead, we made thoughtful choices, learning and adjusting as we went. Week two, embrace new foods. We began by introducing more plant-based dishes into our meals, focusing on those we already like. For this week, we stopped buying beef, pork, chicken, and eggs. We replaced them with healthier plant-based options like tofu, beans, and mushrooms. The goal was to familiarize ourselves with plant-based cooking and gradually reduce our reliance on meat. By the end of the week, we felt more comfortable and excited about our new diet. For week two, here's what you can do. Meat swaps. Start with simple recipes that incorporate familiar ingredients to ease the transition. Swap the meat for a plant-based protein. For example, Korean bibimbap is a dish that I already love, but instead of using beef, I swapped it for tofu. Week three, meal prep. You don't have to meal prep for the whole week if that's too much. With a better grasp of plant-based meals, my husband and I started making double portions for dinner to have leftovers for lunch the next day. This not only saved time, but also ensured we had healthy options readily available for the next day. Breakfast became simpler, focusing on oatmeal and fruits. This easy-to-prepare meal helps us maintain our energy levels without feeling weighed down. Here's what you can do. 
Meal prep in advance. Cooking in bulk saves time and ensures you always have healthy options on hand. Keep breakfast simple. Opt for easy and nutritious options like oatmeal with fruits or smoothies to start your day right. And then reevaluate. After the third week, we notice our taste preferences shifting. Meals without animal products did not feel like I was missing out on something anymore. We started feeling lighter and more energetic. The physical benefits became evident. We lost weight and our digestive health improved. These changes reinforced our decision to continue with a plant-based diet. Our journey to a plant-based lifestyle was filled with learning curves and challenges that tested our commitment. Here are some of the challenges we faced along with the strategies on overcoming them. 1. Missing meat and dairy The absence of meat and dairy initially left a void in our meals. Finding satisfaction in plant-based alternatives required creativity and openness. We learned more about meat swaps. We used plant-based alternatives like lentils for meat and soy milk for dairy. These substitutes helped bridge the gap so our transition was smoother. 2. Social dining Eating out and socializing became more complex given the limited plant-based options in some scenarios. So before eating out, I scouted restaurants for plant-based menus. At gatherings, we bring our own dishes to share so we'd have something to enjoy. 3. Nutritional Concerns Ensuring a balanced intake of essential nutrients was crucial to us, especially in the beginning. We bolstered our knowledge on plant-based nutrition and added supplements like B12 to our diet to maintain optimal health. 4. Adjusting to new flavors Acclimating to the diverse flavors of plant-based cuisine took time and experimentation. My husband and I became culinary adventurers. We use spices and herbs to enrich our dishes. Variety is the spice of life. 5. Dealing with cravings. Cravings for familiar foods were inevitable, especially junk foods for me. So instead of giving in, we continued to find plant-based versions of our favorite meals. This often satisfied our cravings just as good. Look for plant-based alternatives that fulfill your cravings without compromising your diet. Maintaining a plant-based diet requires more than just a strong start. It demands ongoing commitment and a bit of creativity. So here are my top tips for sustaining this lifestyle in the long term. 1. Keep learning and experimenting. The world of plant-based eating is vast and exciting. Continue to explore new recipes, ingredients, and cooking methods. This ongoing exploration keeps your meals interesting and ensures that you're getting a wide range of nutrients. 2. Master meal planning and prepping. Taking time each week to plan your meals can save you time, reduce stress, and help you stay on track. Preparing meals in advance ensures that you always have healthy options at hand, so it's easier to resist temptation of less nutritious choices. 3. Stock up on essentials. Having a well-stocked pantry with plant-based staples like legumes, greens, nuts, seeds, and spices makes it easier to whip up meals on the fly. Fresh fruits and vegetables should be regulars on your shopping list too. Next, connect with like-minded individuals. Online forums, local meetups, or plant-based cooking classes, you choose. Connecting with others who share your dietary approach can provide support, inspiration, and new ideas. 5. Be patient and be kind to yourself. It's okay to have moments of temptation or even slip-ups. What's important is your overall commitment to this lifestyle. Be patient with your progress and be kind to yourself on this journey. Listen to your body. Be mindful of how different foods affect you and adjust as needed. Remember to consult with your healthcare providers, especially if you're managing health conditions or undergoing treatments. As a cancer patient myself, this is exactly what I did. If you're experiencing any issues, consider consulting with a healthcare provider or a dietitian who specializes in plant-based nutrition to ensure your dietary needs are being met. Plant-based eating is not a one-size-fits-all lifestyle. Next, enjoy the benefits. Regularly remind yourself of the reasons why you chose this lifestyle and the benefits you've experienced. Whether it's improved health, ethical reasons, or environmental concerns, these motivations can help sustain your commitment. Over three weeks, my husband and I transitioned to a diet focused on whole plant-based foods. This wasn't just about what we gave up, it was about what we gained. Improved health, new flavors, and a deeper understanding of food as medicine. 
And by the way, there's one more thing you need to know. I'm not 100% plant-based. This is not a secret. I've shared this in many of my short-form content last year. Adopting and maintaining a plant-based diet is a journey that evolves over time. And during that time, I discovered that perfection isn't necessary for improved health. I practice a predominantly plant-based lifestyle, 90% whole or minimally processed plants, and 10% for whatever I want. So I enjoy the benefits of plant-based eating while still indulging in my favorite treats occasionally. In my next video, I'll dive deeper into why a fully plant-based diet is not essential for everyone and how you can find the right balance for your health and lifestyle. In the meantime, check out this video where I share four rules that have made our plant-based diet stick. I will see you over there.